Okay, so here's the situation. You're doing a map, Kogo. Okay, your map starts down here at 501, and then it's got a bearing of distance up to 502. Okay, and then you're trying to draw your next line over here to 503. Okay, and it says north 90 degrees east. Okay, but here's what it says for the distances. 200.2 feet M, 200 feet R1, 202.0 feet R2. So, if you guys are on that map, what distance do you use to put in your line from 502 to 503? Okay, Austin says measured. What do you think? Um, the latest reference. The latest reference? What do you think? Oh, sure. Okay, so Austin has the right answer, almost always. Okay, so we want to use, almost always, we want to use the, the measured value. Okay, so let me explain that for a minute because that's a little bit confusing. So when, when uh, let's say I go out to survey a parcel. Okay, so I go, Landon goes out to survey a parcel, and I'm the first guy to survey the parcel, okay? So, I guess that, that's not quite accurate. So let's say I go out and I do a subdivision map, so I'm going to create a parcel on my subdivision map. So I create a new parcel on a subdivision. We're doing that right now for Rick, right, on these projects I work on. Okay, so on my survey, is there going to be any record distances on, around that parcel, the new parcel? No, because I'm the first one. So all those distances are either measured or calculated, okay? All right, but now Angelo comes in behind me to survey the parcel, okay? So he's going to show our, his measurements, his distances, are they going to be measured or are they going to be R1? When he goes out... On his survey, yeah. He's retracing my subdivision. Oh, they're going to be record. His distances... Okay, so let me draw a picture. This might be easier with a picture. Okay, so I create... I create a parcel, okay, and I show 200 feet M, 200 feet M, I didn't draw a very good square, but you guys get the picture, right, 200 feet M, okay, everybody understands there's no R1 because nobody else has surveyed this yet, right, okay, now Angelo comes out to do his survey, okay, now he's drawing his survey. So how many measurements do we, how many distances do we have for this line now? Four. For this, just this one line? We have two. We have two distances. Mine, originally, and Angelo's. Okay, so now it's going to be 200M R1. On Angelo's survey, which distance is his distance? The measured. The measured. It's his measurement. Does that make sense? You guys follow me? Okay, on Angelo's map, which distance is, is which is mine? R1. Okay? Okay, now, Elena goes out to survey the same parcel. Okay? So now we're gonna now we're gonna add an R2. Okay, and this is how I do mine. Some surveyors will call this A and B. Okay. So on Elena's survey, which one of these is, is her distance? The measured. Measured. Which one is mine? I came first. Mine's R1. Which one is Angelo's? R2. R2. Does this make sense? Okay, so here's why I'm teaching you guys this. If I'm cobbling Elena's survey, which one of these three do I want to use? The Her measurement, right? I would use these others if I was cobbling that other survey. Let me give you one more. So now Austin comes in and he does a survey next door. Okay, Austin's the last guy. Okay, now, how many measurements now, potential measurements do we, references do we have for this distance? Four. Four. Austin's measured. Then we've got Landon's survey, the oldest one, the subdivision. We've got Angelo's survey, and we've got Elena's survey. 
Now, if we're covaline in Austin survey and we're coming around, do you guys see why it would be a mistake to use one of these R values? We want to use Austin's value. Whose survey are we covaline? It's Austin. Austin's. Okay. If we plug in some one of these other R values, there's a good chance Austin survey may not close because that's not his measurement, right? Okay. So does everybody understand why Austin had the right answer? If you're covaline a map, you always use the measured value if it's available. Okay. Now let me give you another situation that's a little more complicated. So same, very same scenario. Okay, and now we got that. No measured value. We got two record values. Which record value do we use? That's a good answer. I like that answer. I don't know if it's correct, but I like it. Anybody else? Austin's deep in thought. Angela's like, you lost me four questions ago, bro. I just don't think I've seen that before, so I'm thinking about it. Okay, so here comes our pizza. So I like Elena's answer, okay, but it really depends on the circumstances. Okay, so the correct answer is ask your licensed surveyor, because the answer might change depending on what we're doing, okay? But if I'm not around, if I'm on vacation, then you go with Elena's answer. You use the most recent value, okay? But hold that thought, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess with you. I like to do that, and then we're going to eat pizza. Okay? So, what if you're in a situation where if you use the most recent, you get a closure error, you get a two foot closure error. So, if you use R2, let's say it's the newest survey, then you come up with a two foot closure error. Well, then what might a better answer be? Use the record value that doesn't give you a closure error. Okay? By the way, if you see this, if you see a line like this with a bearing and a di only record distances, what does that tell you? Let's say this is my survey. Okay? So I've got a measured on this line, 200 measured. Okay? Plus R1 and R2. Okay? But on this one, I only have R1 and R2. What does that tell you about this line on my survey? If there's no measured value, what does that tell you? I didn't measure between these two points. I, I just I plotted this with record information. Okay, so whenever you see that, that's a clue that this information on this map might not be super reliable because this guy didn't actually measure across there. Okay, you'll almost never see me do that. I'm not gonna tell you you won't ever see it, but it doesn't happen very often. Okay, usually this means you've got a lazy surveyor. Okay, if he's showing some information per record with no measure. Okay, not always, but this is a warning flag. That's why when you guys see this, if you're jamming along a map and you get to a point where you don't have a measure, what do I want you to do? Come and get me because something smells a little fishy here. We got to look at this and try and figure out what's going on, right? Okay, go eat pizza. <laughs> Thank you.